All right, we're gonna try to get some color on this truck. I mean, we're gonna try to get some color on this truck, talking through the mask. You're just dusting on a quick coat, right? Yep, there you go. So he's dusting on a quick coat, with a tack coat. Really laying it on the box sides to try to get the shine out of them. Nice. That's it, man. That looks a lot better, man. Oh, yeah. There's been no runs, I don't think, either. No, I won't run. Okay, uh, I need more mixed up to. So it looks like this this gallon of this uh what the heck it's is called this? Bell Fleet Essential. Bell Fleet Essential is just enough to do this truck. This 82 F-150 regular cab. Long cab. Yeah, it looks a lot better. He poured it out, it looks a lot it made it smoother and shinier. So yeah, we uh, came out pretty nice. Got a nice shine on it. It laid down pretty flat. This polyurethane paint seemed to go on pretty pretty decent, right, Con? Yeah, you're pretty it. you're pretty happy. Single stage, so it's keep a balance between quality and not spending the whole year trying to restore a old F-150. Yeah, so this paint this paint gun did work pretty good, didn't it? It did. It really did. You know, I think it's. Like anything else from China, they steal our designs and uh, they make it cheaper. So I think the chemicals will probably eat it up eventually and it won't work good. But Because you think it's made out of cheap material? Oh, yeah, I think so. It's got to be cheap material. You know. Well, 25 bucks. It's a $25 gun. It's not a $700 gun. No. Like a Sato looks like that. It's a $1,000 gun or whatever. But if you if you only got to do like one paint job in your garage like we are right now. Well, I was talking to my buddy Colt and he says he buys them four at a time. He'll do about three or four paint jobs chuck. and chuck it. Colt paints golf carts, and he does golf carts down in South Carolina, Manning, South Carolina. Colt's Golf Carts is his, is his uh, place, and he's always making a new and interesting creation. 
So anyway, we like the paint gun. I myself didn't use it much. I did use the Astros. I like the Astros too. Um, I don't know how versus we can be on this because we didn't actually take those out. But from memory, you don't like the Astros as much, do you, Connor? And you've used them no, both. I don't because uh, for some reason, they just don't seem to push enough paint out. Uh -huh. So you're going really slow to try and get it to lay on. And they're a bigger nozzle. Yeah, so I don't get it. Maybe it's just that they're old and maybe they're clogged up a little or something stupid. But, but that laid enough paint on. You know, I, this is like a metallic paint, so I was worried I was going to get tar tiger striping. None of it. And no, it there's no tigers. That. It's nice. You know? We and now the, the, fan though, looked, you know? the fan looked good and even. Yeah. It had an even fan spray, so there was no heavy spot in the fan. So that, yeah. that's important. It wasn't laying too much right in the middle, which I think that caused a lot of tiger striping. With oh, the yeah. Products, you know? Yeah. So I didn't do that, and I made the fan a little wider, too, and it just really worked out well. I've seen it where you widen a fan, it'll put a dot top and bottom, or yeah. you know, it just won't be even. None of that. But that seemed that seemed to be even. Yep. And I did a 50-50, you know, overlap. But it does have more. It has more air control holes in the in the nozzle. You, I don't know if you can see it on the on the film, but it's got more than the than the Astro did. The Astro. I don't even know if I can get it off of here. Where I have another Astro. The Astro does not have. It's got a whole different kind of pattern top bottom two on each side of the nozzle one and then it's got the wider fans out on the outside but it's just not as uh it doesn't have as many many holes that must finite it down a little bit as far as actually putting out an even spray so for 25 bucks uh i mean uh, I'm, do it yourself or can't beat that yeah do it yourself how, how do you beat that yeah if you're gonna if you're gonna go into production painting, of course Colt does it, and he gets beautiful paint jobs out of it, and he just buys new guns. Yeah, but you know, unless you're gonna set up with like a paint booth and you're gonna be a professional painter, you know, I don't think you need a seven hundred dollar gun. No. I think you could do an equally good paint job with a cheap gun and throw them away every now and then, so they don't mess up with you. You know. Yeah, we'll throw. If it's up to me, we'll throw it away in about uh, twenty five years. I might throw it away right now. So we don't have to deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> I just cleaned it. We got to get another job out of it, well, even if it's just primer. Let's see what it does on the second job with being left with chemicals and, and stuff in it. I don't think it'll spray as good. So what we'll do is get a backup. Yeah. And we'll try it out. Another $25 gun. Yeah. We're good. I want to splurge for the $60 gun. It might not be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's true. We can buy two and a half for the price of one. So this came out pretty good. I mean, if you look down at it, there's... Still dents and ripples. I mean, what it needed was another week or that's, more. That's pretty damn, Connor. Kind of, that's that's pretty straight. But I do not see. You're gonna really nitpick it. No, I I don't see anything here that the telltale I patched over the fender wheel signs like like you see in regular pickups going down the road. Yeah. The bottom line is I couldn't afford another eighty hours of of labor in this. And no. Because I want to drive it. <laughs> yeah. And it's so it's really great for what I needed. Yeah, you're going to be throwing tools in it, yep, all that kind of thing. It's perfect. The cab corners, they look good. They came out pretty nice. All right, well, I'll put this thing together and get the heck out of here so we can get the next thing in. Yep. All right. Then the next thing is that Studebaker. So we're going to get cracking on that. That's only been sitting there how long? Six, seven, eight years? I don't Too know. long. It's actually, it's a barn find now in my own barn. So <laughs> it's been sitting here so long. Well, yeah, but you know what? It's taken us that long to collect everything we needed for. Yeah, us. yeah. So we're going to call the next video. It's going to be Barn Find Studebaker. I found it. I tripped over it in my own barn because it's just been sitting here so long. It's like a barn find.